hello there, my name is Niamh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload videos twice a week, every Tuesday and every Friday. Tuesdays are sit-in videos like the one you are about to watch right now and Fridays are vlogs where I just vlog my life, simple as. Today I have a bit of an advice video for you, some tips all on how to pass your driving test and kind of things that I wish I had known beforehand. And I'm just gonna be very honest with you, gonna be straight out with you and be like, look, this is what you gotta do, okay? <laughs> so if this is for you, keep watching. I hope you learned something from it. If you've got a test coming up, best of luck. Hopefully I can give you a bit of a hand or if you just wanna pass a driving test in the future, this video is for you. And if you've already passed your driving test, well, you can watch anyway and tell me what you think of my tips and maybe if you had known some, um, would they have helped you out? Just wanna say too, I didn't pass my test on the first go. I passed mine on the second go, so. Don't worry if you don't pass it on your first, okay? Anyway, let's get into it. So the first one I have, and it's probably a given, but like, I cannot tell you how important this is, and it is to practice. Practice, practice, practice. The driving test is a physical thing. It is a practical thing. It's not something you can just learn off few things for. Yes, obviously you have the like rules of the road part beforehand, but the actual driving test, like no matter how much you know what you need to do, if you can't actually do it, then you're not gonna pass. So practice, practice, practice. Get out every single day. Practice in really sunny weather, practice in really horrific weather. Practice in the dark, practice, you know, I don't know, just practice in every kind of setting. Especially practice on the routes you'll be tested on. I know in Cork, there are a lot of, sorry, obviously in Cork, in Wilton in Cork, um, where I did my driving test. There's a good few different routes that they can take you on. Honestly, the best thing you can do for yourself is do those routes over and over and over. There's no point if you're living out in Douglas and you're driving around Douglas the whole time. Yes, that's great to practice driving, but you're not gonna be tested in Douglas. You gotta go to where you're gonna be tested. Go to Wilton if you're in that direction or wherever is closest to you, wherever you're tested around. Um, that's where you need to be practicing. That is where you need to do most of your practicing because that's what you're gonna be tested on. The second piece of advice, and this is something I wish I had done, and it is if you fail your first test, book another one straight away. I don't care, okay? I don't care what you have to say to me. Book a test straight away because if you don't, you're just gonna put it off for another few months and the next thing a month, a few months turns into a year and next thing two years later, you still haven't passed your test because you haven't booked it. So I know it's so awful to, pa to fail your test, okay? It's a crappy feeling. It's not nice, okay? And the last thing you wanna think of is booking another test, but I like honestly book another test straight away if not that day book it the next day okay and book it because first of all in Ireland like the waiting list is freaking crazy for tests that isn't Cork Wilton anyway so you might it might be months before you'll get it tested again but that'll drive you that <laughs> drive you that'll you know it'll keep you <sighs> There's no way I'm not gonna get it. Okay, I gotta switch the word because I'm just gonna say you gotta be driven. But like, like for me, failed my first test, did not book another test for ages and two years later, I passed my test. It took me four years to pass my test because I just wouldn't book one. Um, whereas if you have, if you, right, so you fail, grant, come out of it, book it. Then you got the motivation to, you know, get it done for the next time. You've got three months, right, I have three months to pass my test and it'll, I keep only going to drive to, but yeah, it'll drive you to drive more, basically is what I'm trying to say. Okay, the next, and this is something I kind of left a little bit too late, but it is do a few lessons the week or two before your test, okay? And don't leave it too late to book them because I did. So I got my test date and then like two weeks beforehand, I was like, I should probably do some lessons and he literally could only fit me in for two. I probably could have done with three or four. Yes, I did pass. I didn't do any lessons before my test for my first test I did for my second test and I passed my second test just saying I would highly I know it's more money I know and driving in Ireland is just all about money but doing the lessons before your test just refreshes your memory it refreshes you with everything you need to do properly with looking at all the mirrors and all these different things so I would highly highly recommend doing a few lessons beforehand and make sure you book them in time because otherwise you're gonna be like me and he's gonna be like uh your test is in like a week how can you expect me to fit you in but yeah that is one thing I would really 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 recommend doing make sure you know the rules of the road okay it's a simple thing that you can kind of brush off to the side it's the part before you test where you sit down they ask you different questions you have to like read off different like road signs and stuff to tell them what you are I probably didn't put in enough 
as much as I could have. I still, I still passed it away, but like, I'll never forget. He asked me something. It was something on the lines of like, what in a tunnel, like that you should you put all your your beams, the lights, like your dips or whatever it's called. And he was like, oh, what you do um, when you get into a tunnel? And I was like, you, because <laughs> on the car that I had been driving in, you turn your turn a little thing like twice to get the uh, not the fulls on but like dips on is that what they're called um i was like you literally doing this hand movement to him i was like you you put on you put on the the, the lights the what the lights and he was like the dips i was like the dips yeah the dips it's just it's a really small part of the test but it's not one that you want to be failing on like and you can fail on the theory um, and just don't do that to yourself, you know, just don't. So make sure you know your rules of the road, you know your road signs, everything. It's such, it, it, it's an easy thing to have for going for you when you, you know, straight away into the test. The next thing that I have to say is honestly, fake it till you make it. Go into your test, right? No matter how you feel, no matter how confident you feel as a driver, walk into your test being like, I can drive. Because for my first test, okay, full disclosure, I was not ready to be driving. If they had passed me on my first test, I actually would have questioned them and been like, no, you actually can't let me out on the road. Like I, I had no confidence within myself in my first test. I was like, I'm a terrible driver. I'm still so nervous. I still can't even change gear properly. I still can't do this. I can't do this. That was never going to be beneficial to me. Never going to be beneficial to me. Whereas with the second one, I was, I was, I was, I felt more ready, but I was also like, let's just go in there and just be like, look, you can drive. You can drive so well. You're such a confident driver. I didn't really believe this, but I was just trying to make myself believe it because if you go in with that confidence, whether it's real or not, it'll kind of manifest itself and you will just feel a bit better with driving and you might actually do a better test. And even like for mine, when I was doing the reverse around the corner, I hit the curb and I thought that was an automatic fail. So um, I hit the curb and I was like, oh, well, look, I failed my test. There's no point now in like getting, you know, upset or anything. I'm like, look, look, let's just keep on driving. Let's just go back. I've already failed. I hit the curb, but I passed. I don't, I don't know, did he not notice? Is it not a fail three grade? I don't, I don't know. You know, after that happened, I was like, look, there's no point in letting it get to me. Let's just keep driving as I, as I am. And I passed, you know, where maybe if I had let that get to me, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm definitely after fail now. And then let myself get nervous. I probably would have failed the test. Whereas I was just like, look, let's just keep cool, calm and collected. Okay. And let's just keep driving. So fake it, make it. Go in there, be like, I can drive, have confidence in yourself because I think it will really, really help you. The next one now, and <laughs> let me finish before you're like, mm, but it is don't pay too much attention to the tester sitting next to you. Obviously, you have to listen to him because he's going to tell you where to go. But what I mean, obviously be listening out for those, but other than that, don't pay attention to him because definitely for my first one, they have the iPad and I was like, every time he like went at the iPad, I was like, oh my God, is that now? Has he after touching it three or four times? Sorry, does that mean I have three? Like, and I was just so caught up with what he was doing. And then I probably wasn't concentrating enough on myself. Whereas with the second one, I don't think I was like as aware of him as much. I actually hit him in the leg well yeah while trying to change gear i actually hit him in the leg and was like it's sorry he was just kind of like, okay um yeah so that happened but other than that i didn't really like let him affect me and i tried not to look at like whether he was marking me or anything like that because you're just gonna get too caught up in like oh my god is that my the fifth mark or something oh my god i only have like three left and if, if he touches the light three more times I'm, I'm gonna fail but like this there's no point in doing that to yourself so only pay attention to them for the directions that they're giving you other than that try pretend they're not there and the last thing i have to say to you and i say this to everyone who tells me they start driving or they're studying their lessons do not give up until you pass your test do not give up until you pass your test okay do not stop till you have your full license the minute you start from that theory get your lessons done get your test done asap well you know as soon as you can but anyway what i'm just trying to say is like don't be stopping and starting stopping and starting because that was me and it took me four years to get my full license because i would drive for a little bit and then i had an excuse you know i was doing my leaving search and i was like eh, i won't bother driving for a little while then i had a test fail the test so i was like i don't want to drive anymore and then was in and out and in and out of driving the whole time whereas if i had just 
started and kept going till I passed it probably would have taken me like a year or two maybe not four um so that is just what I have to say to you just keep at it till you get your full license don't stop and start don't don't be driving for a while and then stop and then driving just keep at it keep your motivation going you will get there but promise me you won't stop until you get your full license then it doesn't matter then it doesn't matter if you never drive again but if you start the process just just try finish it try your hardest to finish it because otherwise like the longer you go the more lessons you might need that's more money and then the tests are like 85 euro like it's just it's absolute crazy the amount of money that goes into driving in Ireland but don't stop until you get that full license okay and you'll get it you will get there it might be a long old road but please don't stop till you're at the finish line okay and that's it that's all that's all I have to say to you those are the main tips that I have for you from personal experience and some things that I wish I had known beforehand I hope you found them helpful if you have your driving test coming up soon best of luck and hopefully I haven't turned you off driving if you're listening to this and you have yet to start driving it's a long old haul it's tough especially if you're a nervous driver or you don't like driving that much it's it's really really tough obviously don't push yourself if you're going to be really uncomfortable but if you want to get your full license, as I said, don't stop until you get that license, okay? Don't stop until you get it. I hope you found those tips helpful if you do have a driving test coming up. Hopefully I can help you in some way or you can just store a bit of this information for when you do have your driving test. Um, but yeah, I hope they were helpful and yeah, that's all. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I shall see you on Friday with a vlog. It's a couple of days of my life. So yeah, get excited for that. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>